Hazrat Abu Huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu narrates in Tirmizi and Ibn Majah and similar words have also been narrated in Bukhari and Muslim by Hazrat Abu Huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that when the first night of the month of Ramadan comes the devils and the defiant jinns that is all the jinns who follow and obey the devil and they are the disobedient jinns all the devils and the defiant jinns are bound in chains that is they are all chained up and all the gates of hell are closed and none of them remains open and all the gates of heaven are thrown open and none of them remains closed and the heavenly herald announces o seeker of goodness and virtue advance and do all and o seeker of evil and sin halt and do not come forward and then prophet salaisan added a large number of sinning bondsmen are released from hell at the command of allah and all this takes place on every night of ramadan subhanallah 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 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help all of us to be one of the lucky ones who respond to the call of this announcer make us one of those who proceed in the in the virtuous deeds and in the deeds of goodness and who halt and stop in form of all the evil deeds and in all the sins and all the disobediences and all the transgressions Hazrat Ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala and who reports in Bukhari that he himself narrates that the messenger of Allah was superior to all the men in generosity and doing good to the people in general but in the month of Ramadan his virtues and his piousness knew no bounds in ramadan jibril alayhi salam used to come to him every night and prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam recited the quran to him during those days prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam appeared to be faster than winds in generosity and in kindness and in good deeds so this is how this is how observing the manners of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are we are expected to respond to the to the announcement of the announcer and what about people who are not going to respond to this announcement has a qab bin ujra radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was stepping up and he ascended and the first step he took he said amen and then he on the second step he again said amen and then on the third step he again said amen the messenger said asked that we did not see anybody pray then what were you saying amen to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam answered that jibril alayhi salam came and he said may the person suffer perdition who witnessed ramzan and was not forgiven of his sins that is he he was there in ramzan and he found the month of ramazan but he did not work hard he did not struggle he did not strive to gather the blessings and the bounties and the forgivenesses and the mercies of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so has a jibril alayhi salam said that may he suffer from perdition and then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to this prayer did i say amen and then when i stepped on the second step hazrat jibril said may the person suffer perdition when your name is recited before him whose name prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's name is recited before him and who does not send blessings upon him sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then i answered amen when i climbed the third step jibril alayhi salam said 
made the person suffer perdition when he finds both or either of his old parents and does not earn Jannah by serving them. And I stated, Amen. So this is this is this is the destructive result of the person who is not responding to the call and who is not halting for the evil deeds and for the sins during Ramzan and who is not trying to struggle to proceed for the virtues and for the righteous deeds in Ramzan. How how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward and how much will the person be re recompensed? Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who narrates in Bukhari and Muslim that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, the reward on every virtuous deed is increased from 10 to 700 times. And this is what is explained in Quran. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Referring to the Quran said, I repeat again, that reward to every virtuous deed is increased from 10 to 700 times. But the standing command of Allah about fasting is that the fast is an exception. It is a special gift of the bondsman for me and I shall reward him directly for it. The bondsman forgoes food and drink solely for my sake, and I shall therefore recompense him for the sacrifice according to my pleasure. There are two moments of special joy for the man who fasts. One is when he breaks the fast and then he experiences. And this joy is when he experiences in his worldly life and the other joy will be when the other joy will be in hereafter when he will be presented before allah i swear the bad smell which is coming out from the mouth of a person who is fasting is more pleasant is more pleasant to allah than the sweet smell of musk subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is no doubt Shakiran Alima. He is the He is the Allah who is all acknowledging and who is all knowing. And then Prophet added, and fast is a shield. And when any one of you keeps fasts, he must not utter indecent words or engage in any noisy scene. And were anyone to quarrel with him and call him names, he should simply say, I am, I am fasting. Here in these words, Prophet Sallallahu has called that, the sh that fast is a shield. Now, fast is a shield from what? It is a shield and a protection in this world against the tempting things, the attractive things, and then against the assaults of the devil and in hereafter, it will be a shield against the fire of hell. Then Hazrat Sahal bin Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala and who reports in Bukhari and Muslim that Prophet sallallahu said, there is a special gate of paradise which is known as Rayyan and only those who observe fasting will be allowed to enter through it on the day of resurrection. On that day, it will be called out, it will be called out aloud. Where are the bondsmen who used to fast for the sake of Allah and endure the pangs of hunger and thirst? Such of the bondsmen will respond to the call and save them. No one will be permitted to enter in this gate. And when they will all have entered Jannah through this gate, it will be shut and then no one else will be allowed to enter from it. Allahumma ja'alna minhum. Hasat Abu Umama radiallahu ta'ala and who reports in Nisai that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was uh, approached by one of his companions and he asked that please command me to perform an act from which with which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give me the maximum of reward. That is, I will gain the maximum of rewards and profits in hereafter. What did Prophet say? Keep fasts. There is nothing like it. 
Then Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala who reports in Bukhari and Muslim that Prophet sallallahu said, قال من صام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه. Prophet sallallahu said that a person who fasts in the month of Ramadan in a state of belief, in a state of faith, and in a condition that his heart is, is hoping that he will be rewarding. And he has a conviction, he has a deep conviction in his, in his soul that he will be rewarded for all that. So out of the intention of reward hereafter, a person who is going to fast in the month of Ramazan, all the previous sins will be forgiven. All the previous sins will be forgiven. Subhanallah. And then Prophet added, وَمَنْ قَامَ رَمَزَانٍ إِيمَانٌ وَإِحْتَسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ Any person who stands for salah, who stands for salah, these are, these are what? These are the supererogatory salah, the salatul tasbih, uh, the tarawi of Ramadan, who stands in Ramazan, in salah, in a state of faith and belief, with intention of being rewarded hereafter, then even his all previous sins will be forgiven. And then last but not the least, Prophet finally added, وَمَنْ قَامَ لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ إِيمَانٌ وَإِحْتَسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ زَنْبِهِ Whoever stands in prayers, in salah, in the nights of Laylatul Qadr, in a state of faith and belief, and expecting and hoping for reward with intention of being rewarded in hereafter, then even all his sins will be forgiven. All the sins of his previous life will be forgiven. So the worships of Ramazan, the working of Ramazan, the striving and struggling and sacrificing of Ramadan is all what? It is a simple and it is like one of the easiest formulas for getting all of our previous lives, sins, being forgiven, being pardoned. Allahumma ghfir li zambi kullahu. Allahumma ghfir li zambi kullahu. Allahumma ghfir li zambi kullahu. رَبِّ اغْفِرْ وَارْحَمْ وَأَنْتَ خَيْرُ الرَّاحِمِينَ So fasts, standing for the supererogatory salah, that is salatu tarawi, and then worshipping in the lights of Laylatul Qadr. These are all in a state of iman and ihtisab, are going to lead, lead to forgiveness of all of our sins in this sacred month. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all, guide us all, support us all, best us all with the best of health, best of condition, and the best of helpers and supporters in our family, that we may be able to struggle and strive to gather all these. Then Hazrat Abdullah bin Amr radiallahu ta'ala and who reports that Prophet sallallahu narrated, said, that the fast and Quran will both plead or intercede on the behalf of the bondsmen who fasted and who recited Quran. The fast will say, that is how will the fast intercede on the day of resurrection? The fast will say, my Lord, I held him back from food and drink and sexual satisfaction, accept my intercession for him today. That is, treat him with mercy and forgiveness. And then the Quran will say, I had held him back from taking rest and sleeping in the night. O Allah, accept my intercession for him today. And the Quran will be interceding and pledging and pleading Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to treat him with mercy and forgiveness. 
And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam added, the intercession of both, that is the fast and Quran will be accepted for the bondsman and he will be treated mercifully and all his sins will be forgiven. Subhanallah, what a bumper offer we're going to be. We're going to be offered because of this Ramadan. Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who reports in Musnad Ahmad, in Tarindi, Abu Da'ud, and Ibn Majah. That Prophet Sallallahu said, whoever omits, whoever, a man, a woman, a boy, a girl, for anybody for whom the fasting of Ramadan was obligatory, whoever omits a single fast of Ramadan without a legal concession of journey or illness, I'll be talking about that, without a legal concession, then no amendment can be made for this. No amendment can be made for the for the fast which was omitted, even though if the person observes fasting throughout the life. So there is no amendment. There is absolutely no kafara which has been suggested by Quran, by Hadith, that if a person knowingly, knowingly, without any reason, without any legal excuse or concession, just leaves a fast of Ramazan a day, then there will be no, nothing are not even observing the fast for the whole of the month, which will be an amendment for this. Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who has narrated that how we need to spend the night and how we need to spend the months. And Hazrat Anas also has related that Prophet sallallahu said that when Laylatul Qadr comes, Jibra'il descends in the company of angels and prays for mercy for the bondsmen who are engaged in worship and remembrance of Allah, standing or sitting. So the angels will be asking for the forgiveness of those who are fasting, for those who are standing in Salah and for those who, are, who will be in the state of remembrance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help us all remember all these and adopt what is instructed by hadith and sunnah.